Guys, welcome back to Save Your Strength. Today, uh, or in this video, sorry, not today, they're all being filmed today, um, we're going to discuss uh, the rotation of exercises and when you should do them. Now, some of the movements are actually grouped together as pairs. So what you might find is that you complete one exercise for the prescribed amount of sets and or reps or however we're doing it, and you might not have done the other one. In this situation, that's absolutely fine. What we would do is we would swap the one you have completed, however, maintain the one you haven't completed because there's still progress to be had. There's still adaptations to be able to collect and give us a reason to be able to keep that muscle. What we wanna do with the movement that you have completed is think of ways that you would find it more challenging, okay? So you've almost gotta pick something that you know you're not as good at. That's what we wanna do. The movements that you're not as good at are gonna provide the biggest scope for progress, therefore the biggest scope to save your muscle and save your strength. So for example, I'm gonna use the press up analogy again. If you've completed a normal, like a mid width flat press up, we then need to find some way to make that harder the second time round. That's where we might then add a band if you've got access to that. We might elevate your feet by popping them up onto a sofa to make the movement more challenging. Might bring your elbows in, we might take your elbows out. It's up to you to know your body and know what you are gonna find more challenging. And really, really, it's key to not shy away from that. We wanna, we wanna chase the things that are gonna challenge our body the most and go from there. So another option for the press-ups potentially is if you've got any like heavy books, a dumbbell or something like that, get someone to pop that on your back so that you end up doing them loaded. There are loads of things, use, use that inner MacGyver in you to come up with some unique ways with the access to the equipment that you've got to make those movements more challenging. But ultimately, this has been a really long video of me just getting to the point of saying that, Run an exercise until you've completed the upper number, which is detailed in the in our book. Once you've completed that, you then need to swap it for something more heavy or something that is more challenging. And then guys, go from there. Good luck.